We got a super chat here from Jason Gaines for 10 bucks. Jason Gaines, appreciate you, my man. He says, Justin, when Matty Ice had Malarkey as the OC, he seemed to be able to audible. I'm curious when Ryan would audible, uh, I think he would say Green Miller, Black Celtic. What would what would these keywords mean? Uh, so a couple of those are right. There's everything, everything except Celtic, um, which did exist, but it was like way, way down on our play sheet. Uh, I think Miller was uh, our open draw. So you draw a beer. We we like to keep it simple. Green, football Green player. Miller was it was was it right? <laughs> was it for the right? Uh, actually, Miller was left. So it would have been like 41 draw. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. What the fuck was the other one? I can't remember what, what it was to the right. I'm just drawing a blank right now. But, um, yeah, we, we like to keep things simple. Um, you know, mostly for the receivers because those guys mm -hmm. aren't too bright. <laughs> mm -hmm. Impacts. Receivers no, just I'm, like. <laughs> they're like, uh, just throwing the ball. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to run and go. All right. <laughs> yeah, you know, we uh, we we had you know our own little language as you know most teams are want to do, um, but you you can still hear a lot of these things that trickle down from system to system to system. Yeah, like even though every every team has two jet, yeah, two and three jet. It's just a matter of you know what am I going to call it? I mean, we would try to be all cute and creative at times and have. I mean, we, we were there, you know. I think five or six years with, you know, Coach Malarkey. So we evolved over time to, you So know, why the hell was he you know, such a from. terrible head coach? Everyone's not made to be the head man, you know? There's people that are coordinators. He, now, was, such, he, was, he was super nerdy, too. Like, super, like, not nerdy in a good way, though. <laughs> like, like, literally, like, pants pulled up over his belly button. Like type shit. I'm like, bro, oh, <laughs> pull your fucking pants down a little bit. And I know we used to have, you know, we had a talent show every camp or whatever. Yeah. And Smitty would always have the coaches uh, get up there and go last. And, you know, seeing these fuckers dance or tell jokes, I was like, it's a miracle they have kids. For I don't know. Real? How, I don't think it, any, you know, <laughs> any loving <laughs> the way these guys act. But, uh, yeah, he, at times, you know, you grow the offense to where you're yeah. doing more and more and more. I mean, if you went back and look at Matt's first year, and that was also Mike T's or Michael Turner for those you know, yeah, that yeah. follow us. Uh, I think that was – I think they, they both came together the same year. So we got him from San Diego and got Matt out of uh, D.C. Yeah. I mean, we were run it, run it, play action. Run it, run it, play action on third down. And then – as time goes on, you know, Matt's digesting more of the playbook, getting more comfortable, you know, mm -hmm. to where we're, you know, maybe run it on first down to open the game. <laughs> and oh, then, man. Oh, man, only got three yards. Guess we can't run it no more. <laughs> I mean, you've been there. But, um, yeah. Man, I mean, yeah, now he's in a we, position where, where he can win a game throwing it 40, 45 times. Uh, and that yeah. and that's the game plan. Uh, he got yeah. good at, you know, seeing coverages and uh, finding the right players See, and whatnot. I always thought that 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 Matt Ryan was not the problem with yeah, with never the Falcons. The, uh, the Falcons always had like one or two linemen that were like new guys and just would get worked the whole year. And or, or and and the defense was like non-existent. So y'all had to score like 35 points, 40 <laughs> points a game. 